Hi, I'm Christy with Tandem Diabetes Care. Today we're going to talk about changing a cartridge and loading a new one on your Tandem Mobi insulin pump. We'll also discuss removing any bubbles, which are created by changes in temperature and atmospheric pressure. You can help reduce bubbles in your cartridge by using insulin at room temperature. However, because temperature and weather are always changing, you may notice the presence of bubbles later on. We will show you how to manage this later in the video. Be sure you don't remove the old cartridge from your pump until you're prompted to during the load cartridge process on the Tandem Mobi mobile app. Removing the cartridge early could damage the piston on the pump. Always make sure your hands are clean and you've swabbed the top of the vial with alcohol. First, let's prepare the new cartridge. You do this by pulling down the fill rod and then pushing it back up to force air out of the cartridge. Next, pull the fill rod down to the desired volume. You can measure this by using the top ring on the plunger to align with the desired amount of insulin. Now it's time to fill the cartridge. Start by placing the insulin vial upright on a flat surface. You'll push the vial adapter down onto the vial. Next, push the fill rod down to force air from the cartridge into the vial. Be sure to maintain pressure on the fill rod. Then, turn the set with the vial still secured upside down and slowly release the fill rod. Insulin will begin to flow from the vial into the cartridge. From here, you can slowly pull back the fill rod to the desired amount of insulin. Keep in mind that there must be at least 30 units of insulin remaining in the cartridge once the tubing is filled. Finish the fill process by removing the vial from the vial adapter. Next, tap and rotate the cartridge to release any potential air bubbles. If you see air bubbles, push up on the fill rod to force them out. Keep in mind that pushing out air bubbles may also push out some insulin. Be sure to check that you have enough insulin in the cartridge before moving on to the next steps. Now it's time to remove the cartridge from the set. Start by unscrewing the fill rod counterclockwise. Then, gently release the cartridge from the set. Now, unscrew the vial adapter counterclockwise to remove it from the T-lock connector. Be sure you're following all proper disposal methods for needles, cartridges, set components, and infusion sets. Okay, now it's time to install the new cartridge. Open the Tandem Mobi mobile app on your smartphone. Under the Actions menu, tap Load Cartridge. Then tap Change Cartridge. Your phone's security feature will pop up to confirm the request, followed by a screen to notify you that all insulin delivery will be stopped. Tap Yes to continue. Next, disconnect the infusion set from your body and tap Continue. It's very important that you're not connected while starting this process. You'll be prompted to remove the empty cartridge from the pump by rotating it counterclockwise. Be sure the piston on your pump is in the down position. It should look like this, not this. Now place the newly filled cartridge on the pump and rotate it clockwise until it clicks into place. Then tap continue. Next, you'll fill the tube. Again, confirm that the infusion set is disconnected from your body. Attach tubing from a new infusion set to the T-lock connector on the cartridge, then tap continue. Hold the pump with the T-lock connector facing up. This will make sure any air in the cartridge will be pushed through the tubing first. Then, tap yes on the mobile app. Make sure that your infusion set is disconnected from your body. Then, press and hold the pump button to fill the infusion set tubing with insulin. Hold the pump upright and keep the pump button pressed until you see drops of insulin at the end of the infusion set. Once you see drops of insulin, release the pump button. This process is much faster with Tandem Mobi than the T-Slim X2 pump, so pay close attention. Keep in mind that the pump may pause at regular intervals during the process. This is normal and allows you to check for drops of insulin. Tap yes if you see drops of insulin at the end of your tubing. Complete the process by inserting the infusion set. Make sure you're inspecting the tubing for air bubbles. Air in the tubing occupies space where insulin should be, and this could affect insulin delivery. Remember that changes in temperature or weather can cause bubbles. If you find bubbles in your cartridge, consider wearing the pump with the tubing angled down or to the side to help prevent the air from getting into the tubing. If you see air bubbles in the tubing, disconnect the infusion site from your body. Then, under the load cartridge menu, select Fill Tubing. This will push the air out of the tubing. 
For complete details, see the Tandem Moby Insulin Pump User Guide. Be aware that some skincare products, such as lotions, sunscreens, and insect repellents, can cause cracks in the plastic of the cartridge or pump. Do not allow these products to come into contact with the pump or cartridge. Remember to always wash your hands before handling your pump or cartridge after using these types of products. For more helpful resources, visit the pump training section of our website. Thanks for watching. Thank you.